member from Temiskimi Cochrane. Thank you. It's uh, always an honor to stand in the house today and follow the member from Wellington, Halton Hills, and his uh, his remarks on the basically the Payday Loan Act. And uh, I would like to commend the member. His I always don't don't always agree with his arguments, but they're always reasoned and well laid out. And and he is, in my opinion, one of the one of the um, pillars of political debate here. Yeah, because he's always reasoned. He's always reasoned, and. He brought up the point, and I'm because I'm going to comment on what he said, and he brought up the point of the provincial debt, and that is a big problem because if they keep going this way, they're going to need a payday loan. <laughs> no, but there, if you look at the overall economy, you keep you keep going. Okay, I want to remind the minister on culture, tourism, and sports. There's no crossover talking. Can we stop the clock? Okay. Can we make sure we don't cross talk? I just want to respect everybody's opportunity. I'm going to return to the member. Thank you, Speaker. It's actually quite an honor to be heckled by the Minister of Tourism and Culture. But, <laughs> <laughs> but the one thing about people who go to payday loan places, in many cases, it's they don't have a choice. And it's and that's very sad. I mean, when I later on my ten minute in my ten minutes, I'll expand on that. But they don't have a choice because, quite frankly, they can't get a loan from the bank, and they might not have the credit history. Or and it's and that is a huge problem. We have to be very cognizant that they are a lender of last resort, and we have to make sure that. The trick to helping is to make sure that people don't have to go to a lender of last resort. They're popping up to fill a void, and that's, it's a void. We have to look beyond that and see how we can fix the problems behind that so they don't force to go to lender of last resort. Questions and comments?